Hi, in this lesson we're going to be talking about the Windows network and sharing settings. So these are something you should look through on your end users computers to make sure they are configured correctly. And also if you're doing this at home as well, it's a good idea to check out some of these settings. All right, so we're going to start by talking about the Windows network types. So there are three types of networks that Windows typically uses. So we have public, private, and domain. So these network types determine the level of security and sharing settings applied to the network connection. All right, so we have the public network. So this is where things might get a little confusing. So you'll probably notice that your computer is using a public network by default. So this says public networks are considered untrusted and are typically found in public places such as coffee shops, airports, or hotels. But the reason Windows uses this public network is because the security settings are tighter. So just in case you're taking your computer out of the office or out of your house, and logging on to one of these connections here, you'll have higher security. So like it says here, when connected to a public network, Windows applies the most restrictive security settings to protect the device from potential security risks. And also network discovery and file sharing are usually disabled by default. All right, then we have the private network. So these are considered trusted and are typically found in homes, offices, or other trusted environments. So when you use this type of network, Windows allows network discovery and file sharing between devices on the same network. And devices on this private network can communicate with each other and access shared resources such as files, printers, and other media devices. All right, and then we also have the domain network. So if you're in an organization that uses a Windows Active Directory domain, your computer is most likely going to be joined to that domain. So therefore, you'll have centralized management by your domain administrators, which could be you. And that way you could control who could log on to the computer and what these computers can access on the network. All right, so when using a domain network profile, this, your computer is controlled by a central server known as a domain controller. And then Windows applies security policies and settings defined by you, the domain administrator, possibly. And then domain networks allow centralized management of user accounts, group policies, and security settings, which makes things more secure over your network. Okay, so now we're going to go to the Windows settings. So if you go to Network and Internet, you'll see your connection here. And if you click on the Properties button here, you can see your network type. So this computer is not joined to a domain, so I only have public and private. And then you can see how it says public is recommended. And if you go back out and you go to Advanced Network Settings, and then Advanced Sharing Settings, you could see the settings. So public network is the current profile. Network discovery is turned on for this computer. So it could be found by other devices on the network. So it might be turned off on yours, depending if you've come in here to adjust it. And then same for file and printer sharing. So this allows others on the network to access shared files and printers on this device. So if you can't access any shared folders, you might want to come in here and check this as well. And then you have the settings for the private network. So you can see this is on by default for network discovery and then set up network connected devices automatically. This checkbox is enabled by default and then file and printer sharing is turned on by default as well. And then you have a setting for all networks. So public folder sharing is off by default. So the public folders, if you go to your C drive and then users, you'll have your user accounts here. Then you've probably seen this public folder that has its own, you know, desktops and documents and downloads and pictures and so on. So if you want people to be able to access that, you could come here and turn that on. And then for file sharing, Windows will use 128-bit encryption by default. But if you have something that doesn't support it, you need to drop it down. You could try 40 or 56-bit encryption. And then finally, we have password protected sharing. So this means you'll have to have an account with a name and password to access resources on this computer. And this is on by default as well. All right, so once again, how you get there, go to your Windows Settings, Network and Internet, Advanced Network Settings, Advanced Sharing Settings, and then you could come in here and configure your options as needed. Mm -hmm.